Let us begin. Let the story begin. The taste of blood, the cold biting wind, the pain in his ribs and the flickering light of the torch on the ground next to him. The fall had been far, but the snow helped to lessen the impact. He could still hear howls of pain and anger from the darkness above. He winced as he reached for the torch. Bringing the light closer, he could see his ribs were broken, at least four. Using the cavern wall, he pulled himself to his feet. He could see the glint of metal at the edge of his firelight. My bow, he grunted. He let out a sigh of relief. Slowly he walked over and carefully lifted the ancient weapon. Surprised, he raised an eyebrow, smiled and said, Lornix, Alcanazar, the affinity bow, unbroken and unmarked. Truly the gods favor me. He stood and leaned on the cave wall. He felt wind but could not see its origin. He hoped he could follow the wind and find a way out. For seven days he'd fought his way through these cursed caverns, and in those days he'd seen and killed many strange and twisted beasts. In one such monster, he'd lost his dagger after stabbing the creature, only then to be knocked down to where he now found himself. Seven days. The flame of his torch flicked, and he noticed that the tongue of fire had been pulled like smoke through an open window. As he followed the pull on his flame, he noticed a few changes around him. First, he noticed that it was getting much warmer. Next, he noticed an orange glow up ahead. And lastly, the overpowering smell of sulfur. He wrapped a ragged piece of cloth around his face, leaving only his eyes exposed. He pulled his hood up. This didn't feel natural. Reaching the end of the passageway, he began to hear chanting up ahead. As he drew closer, the hair on the back of his neck stood on end. He instinctively knocked an arrow and peeked around the corner. What he saw gave him no choice but to destroy this place. An altar had been built in the middle of a pool of water in the center of the chamber. There were six monks, misshapen men, evenly spaced around the pool and the altar. Another sound caught his attention, and he found its source, a small girl, bound and gag in the pool. The monk closest to her held a jagged dagger at his side. She was to be their sacrifice. He silently drew the arrow back. He could feel the tension in the bow as he aimed the arrow at the dagger-wielding fiend. The monk grabbed her hair and yanked her head back, and she let out a muffled whimper. The monk smiled and victoriously raised the dagger up over his head, and the monks around him started chanting faster and rocking from side to side. The monk slowly brought the blade down to the girl's neck. She closed her eyes. The chamber grew darker as the chanting sped up, and an eerie presence oozed into the cavern. He let the arrow fly, and the dagger fell into the water with a hiss. A scream tore through the cave as the monk fell back into the pool, the water turning red all around him. All the other monks turned in unison to face him. With glazed, empty eyes, they looked from their fallen companion to the intruder. They bared their sharpened teeth and hissed one word. I hope you enjoyed this chipper story. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other kind of videos to do. I enjoy this. Um, I get frustrated. But hey, seriously. Thanks for watching, and keep being awesome. I'm out.